Okay, so then we're gonna get started. Hey, hello, George. How are you? Good. Okay. Fine. Fine, fine. That's great. Fine, fine. Okay, good. Hello, Eddie. Eddie's here. Ronnie is here too. Okay. Hi, hello. Hello, hello. Now we're going to just uh, to warm up. We're going to to listen to yesterday, the last conversation that we had yesterday. Model verb, would, and will for request. This is just for you to refresh the conversation and the pronunciation, okay? Nice to have you back in class. Please take notes on wood and will. Try to understand how they are being used. After the explanation, we have some questions for you. Please answer them on our discussion box. Is the sound okay? Yes. Okay. Yes, it's okay. All right. Modal verbs would and will for requests. What would you like? I'd like the lamb kebabs. I'll have a small salad. What kind of dressing would you like? I'd like blue cheese, please. I'll have vinaigrette. What would you like to drink? I'd like a nice tea. I'll have coffee. Would you like anything else? Yes, please. I'd like some water. No, thank you. That'll be all. Con okay. Okay, now, uh, Ronnie, can you read the, the questions here? Only the questions. Okay. What would you like? Okay. The next one? The second. Yes. Uh, what kind of dressing would you like? Good. What would you like to drink? Okay. Would you like anything else? Very good, excellent. Now, uh, okay. Liz, Liz, can you please read these sentences here, the answers, all of them? Okay. I like to, I like the lamb kebabs. kebabs. I'll have a- Kebabs. Kebabs. Yes. I'll have a small salad. I like blue cheese, please. I have vinaigrette. Okay. I like an um, iced tea. Okay. I will have coffee. Yes, please. I like some water. No, thank you. That be all. That all? That all be all. That all? Be all. Okay. That all be all. Good. Excellent. Okay, uh, Jorge, can you read these contractions here? Okay. I will. I, I will. I, I will. Okay, I'll, I will, I'll, I will, I'd, I, I, would. I could, I would. Okay, good. Okay, now, Eddie, you read the question. Roxana, you read the answer. The first question. Eddie? Eddie, hello? Are you there? Are you with us? Okay, yes. We don't hear you. No. What is a problem with your, okay, there you go. No. No, we don't hear you. There. No. Okay, okay, no problem, good, thank you. Then uh, Vanessa, please, would you please, oh, good evening, would you please read the first question and then Roxana, you read the answers. Okay. Yes, go ahead. Roxana, what would you like? I like the balls. You have uh, a small salad. 
I'll have a small salad. Okay, very good. Okay, good. Uh, let me okay. see. So, uh, Liz, you read the second one. And George, you answer the, you answer the question, right? Okay, Liz. Okay, we don't hear this. Okay, so we have. I read the answers, teacher. The question, the, the second question. The, question. the second question. Yes. What please. kind of, what kind of dressing would you like? Okay, George. I like. Okay, I like blue cheese, please. I all had vinaigrette. Vinaigrette. Okay, good. Ronnie, read the third question. And Vanessa, you answer. Okay. Okay. What would you like to drink? I like an ice iced tea. I have coffee. Okay, excellent. Okay, Roxana, read the fourth question and then uh, Liz, you answer. Okay. Okay? Yes. Roxana? Sorry. Yes. Would you like anything else? Else. Else. Yes. Else. 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 Only else. Else. Uh -huh. Okay, repeat. Go to lie. Anything else? Good. Liz? Yes, please. Yes, please. I like some water. No, thank you. That'll be all. That'll be all. Okay, good. All right. So then, I guess that what you need. I mean, let I me mean, just practice more for the for the fluency. Okay, because I think that with the pronunciation, it's okay. Okay, you have good intonation, good pronunciation. But repeat all the questions and the sentences many times so that you can have more fluency, right? Uh, say, for example, what would you like? What would you like? Okay. What would you like? Say, what would you like? Okay. What would you like? Mm -hmm. What kind of dressing would you like? What kind of dressing would you like? Okay, read word by word to practice. And after, try to say quick, okay? Like a trabalengua, right? Got it? You say here, what would you like to drink? What would you like to drink? What would you, what would you like? What would you like to drink? Would you like anything else? Would you, would you like? Would you like anything? Would you like anything else? Okay, so then this is how you can practice. Would you, would you like? Would you like anything? Would you like anything else? This is for fluency, okay? Good. Now, a... Uh, Contractions. I'll equals I will. I'd equals I would. Okay. We presented would and will in a conversation and then on a previous chart. But now let's work on them. Using would to make requests. Would is used when we make requests in English. It is a more polite way to make your request to someone, especially when you're not familiar with. We can use would directly at the beginning of the question. Would plus subject plus like plus infinitive verb plus complement plus question mark. Example, would you like to drink tea? Or we can use it with a WH question word. WH question word plus would plus subject plus like plus infinitive verb plus complement plus question mark. Example, what would you like to eat for dessert? Also, in this opportunity, we're using would to answer questions. What would you like to drink? I would like a soft drink. Or, I'd like a soft drink. Did you notice the position of wood in the answer? That's right, it goes exactly after the subject. How to answer using wood? Subject plus wood plus like plus complement. 
Now let's pretend we're in a restaurant and you are the waiter. This is my response. I want you to think on the question. I like apple pie. I like coffee. Now it's my turn to ask you. Please respond using wood. What would you like to eat? What would you like to have? Ice cream or chocolate cake? Using wood. What would you like to eat? Okay, just uh, remember that. What would you like to have or what would you like to eat? Uh, they are synonyms, right? What would you like to eat tonight? What would you like to have? Okay, sometimes have, when you're talking about food, it has the meaning of eat. Okay? What would you like to have? Ice cream or chocolate cake? Okay, any other question? No problem so far? Okay. Okay. This is the... Now let's check. Okay, and this is for tonight. We have a listening exercise. And now, for example, we have Vanessa, can you please read this uh, objective here? Okay. Uh, a listening exercise will be played in order for participants to develop these skills and learn to listen for the time. Okay. Remember yesterday, now is for example, listen to some detail, right? Some detail. Details. Detail. Uh -huh. For example, no, not only the principal idea, okay? Now, detail. Okay? And this one is played. Played. A listening exercise will be played in order to, in order for, and then details. Okay. Okay. Then here you have, look at the options first. What options do you have? Coffee with cream and sugar, a piece of apple pie. Coffee with cream and sugar, a piece of raspberry, okay. Uh, sorry, raspberry pie. And we have chicken sandwich, french fries, iced tea, chicken sandwich, French fries, hot tea. Okay, those are the options. Now listen. Listen to Rex and Hannah ordering a restaurant. What did each of them order? Fill in their check. Hi, may I take your order? Yes, I'll have a cup of coffee. Cream and sugar? Oh, yes, please. And you? I'd like a chicken sandwich, and I'll have some chips. Oh, you call them French fries here. <laughs> right, I'll have some French fries, please. All right, one coffee with cream and sugar and a chicken sandwich with French fries. Uh, anything else? Yes, I'd like an iced tea, please. One iced tea. Thank you. Oh, wait a minute. What kind of desserts do you have? Well, we have pie, cake, ice cream, chocolate mousse. Ooh, what kind of pie do you have? I think today we have apple, cherry, lemon. Hmm, I think I'll have a piece of apple pie with my coffee. How about you, Hannah? Oh, maybe I'll have a piece later. Or I'll have some of yours. <laughs> then it's one coffee, one apple pie, one chicken sandwich, an order of french fries, and an iced tea, right? Yes, thank you. Thanks. Okay, listen a second time. Listen to Rex and Hannah order in a restaurant. What did each of them order? Fill in their check. Hi, may I take your order? Yes, I'll have a cup of coffee. Cream and sugar? Oh yes, please. And you? I'd like a chicken sandwich, and I'll have some chips. Oh, you call them French fries here. <laughs> right, I'll have some French fries, please. All right, 
One coffee with cream and sugar and a chicken sandwich with French fries. Uh, anything else? Yes. I'd like an iced tea, please. One iced tea. Thank you. Oh, wait a minute. What kind of desserts do you have? Well, we have pie, cake, ice cream, chocolate mousse. Oh, what kind of pie do you have? I think today we have apple, cherry, lemon. Hmm. I think I'll have a piece of apple pie with my coffee. How about you, Hannah? Oh, maybe I'll have a piece later. Or I'll have some of yours. <laughs> Then it's one coffee, one apple pie, one chicken sandwich, an order of french fries, and an iced tea, right? Yes, thank you. Thanks. Okay. So what, did, what do we have in the first one? Coffee with cream and sugar, a piece of apple pie. All right, let's see. Okay, how about the second one? A chicken sandwich, french fries, iced tea. Nice tea. All yes. right. Okay, everybody agree? Yes. 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 Okay. So, yes. hey, you too. Everybody says me too. Yes. Okay, let's submit. Me too. So All right. So, so do I. Okay, very good. So, you have 10. Okay, excellent. Now, a uh, Did you hear the intonation of the people? Where do you think they are from? Are they from the United States? Are they from Canada? Okay, can you identify that? The accent? Now listen. What can you say? The United States, okay, listen. Listen to Rex and Hannah order in a restaurant. What did each of them order? Fill in their check. Hi, may I take your order? Yes, I'll have a cup of coffee. Cream and sugar? Oh, yes, please. And you? I'd like a chicken sandwich, and I'll have some chips. Oh, you call them French fries here. <laughs> right. Okay, this lady is here, right? I'll have some French fries, please. I have some French fries, please. Now it's just more British, right? The third one. British mm. intonation. All right. One coffee with cream and sugar and a chicken sandwich with French fries. Uh, anything else? Yes. I'd like an iced tea, please. One iced tea. Thank you. Oh, wait a minute. What kind of desserts do you have? Well, we have pie, cake, ice cream, chocolate mousse. Oh, what kind of pie do you have? I think today we have apple, cherry, lemon. Hmm. I think I'll have a piece of apple pie with my coffee. How about you, Hannah? Oh, maybe I'll have a piece later. Oh. You hear that? Later. Later. Uh -huh. later. No, no later, right? Later, later. Lemon. Hmm. I think I'll have a piece of apple pie with my coffee. How about you, Hannah? Oh, maybe I'll have a piece later. Or I'll have some of yours. <laughs> Then it's one coffee, one apple pie, one chicken sandwich, an order of french fries, and an iced tea, right? Yes, thank you. Thanks. Okay. If you see sometimes also the intonation, the lady sounds, there are some differences in pronunciation, right? Similar to uh, Spain and El Salvador, right? So there are also differences in the pronunciation in British English, American English, Canadian English, okay? You will find always some little differences, okay? But mostly from uh, England to American English, right? For example, you say later, later. Okay, better, better. Okay, so then better. American, better. American English uses more the R, better. Okay, British English uses more the T, and they don't pronounce the R very much. Okay, then they said later, here, they just say here, say here, come here, right? Come here, come here. All right, so these are tips, okay? 
So sometimes you will hear that kind of pronunciation. Later. Later, okay? So, but we will talk about it later. Okay, then you have the midterm. Okay, this is uh, listening. Did you take a look at it? Okay, remember that, that here you will have to uh, listen to this uh, information that you have, and then you will have to check the correct answer, okay? Then uh, you have put the words in the correct order. Okay, this one, there is a sentence here, and you have to mark the sentence that is written correctly. Pay attention to capital letters, okay? And then also if, which is the correct order of the, of the words. So you have two, three, four, three, okay. Now here you have to mark the correct answer. New York City is very exciting. Here, uh, one tip is read all the sentence before and after check which one, which of the three words is more convenient, right? New York City is very exciting, but it's boring, no, okay? Because you say it's exciting. Uh -huh, and then you can find another one. Okay, good. Stressful. Then you have to find the others here, that's it, okay? Then complete the sentences with should, shouldn't, or can. Okay, remember that should, what is should? Is a suggestion, right? A suggestion. An advice. advice, exactly, a suggestion, an advice. That something that you have to do in positive. Symbolical. Uh -huh. Shouldn't is probably something, an advice of something that you shouldn't do. Okay, and then you have can't, okay, things that you cannot do, okay, for some reason. This city can be dangerous at night, so it's better you can. to use, you can't, right? You can't. Good. Then uh, you have much the problem with the advice. But that is. So there is a problem here, a fever. What? What should you do? What should you do if you have a fever? If you, have, if you have a sunburn? Sunburn. If you have sore muscles after sunburn. going to the gym? Okay. Uh, if you have a toothache, a toothache, what should you do? Okay, so then you mark one possible solution. Okay. And here, you have to use, see the difference between bottle, jar, pack, or two. Okay, for that, I'll show you the difference after, okay? And then here, check the thing, but here you have to read this, and then read the information and answer. This is reading comprehension, right? You have to find the, the answer. Okay, now before we continue, I want to show you the difference between a jar. What is the difference between a jar and a bottle? A jar, a jar and a bottle. Okay. Do you see this? Okay, this is a, a bottle and a jar. A jar. A jar, a bottle. A bottle. Okay. Something similar to this, anything can be a, can be larger or can be a smaller, right? Larger or a smaller. So this is bottle, jar, Jar, bottle. Okay. For example, when you buy kofal, kofal comes in a bottle or in a jar. Bottle. It's a the, bottle. 
It's a plastic. This is glass. Mm. This is glass. Mm. But kofal is in plastic. In plastic, yeah. right? In butter, plastic. plastic. Yes. Okay. Yeah, Another one is the tube. 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 Uh -huh. For example, you write tube. Uh, a tube of toothpaste. Tube. Okay. Or an no. ointment. Okay. Ointment. Ointment too. Okay, or sometimes uh, any other kind of special creams, right? A special creams, or also for makeup. Okay, for mm -hmm. some makeup. And then you have this, the pack. Okay, this is a pack of, can be, in this case, I think is for fertilizer. Mm -hmm. You have a three pack, they take fry pack. Four right? pack. Okay, four, 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 uh -huh. You can buy a six pack, okay? Or what else? A, a 12 pack of sodas, okay? Of, a 12 pack of tuna fish, okay? A six pack and then three pack, two pack, okay? Depending of the quantity. And then you can buy, remember that pack is for medicine also, for food, for paper and other things. Okay? Orange juice. Milk. Uh huh. Okay. Okay. So you have this one: bottles, jars, tubes, and pack. Okay. Yes. No problem. No. Good. Easy. It's easy. 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 Okay. Fine. It's a piece of cake. <laughs> okay. Yes. Easy breezy. <laughs> okay. Very good. Then. Uh, then you have the, you're ready for the midterm test. Please do it before Monday so that you, we can start the, the, the class on Monday just commenting some things about the exam, right? Okay, yeah. then now we're going to go to Monday. <laughs> when is the exam? <laughs> Uh, right after the, when we finish this class, you can do it. Okay, mm -hmm. yeah, no problem. You have, you can do it. The the, the sooner the it's better. Before the Monday. Yes. The Monday because class. If you can do it tomorrow or uh, today, it's good because it's fresh, right? But if you wait until Sunday, it depends. Okay, you you see your time, see your agenda, and take uh, probably thirty-five to forty minutes. Okay, 40, 45 minutes, probably the most to take it, okay, or less. Okay, so we're gonna start with the fourth lesson. Lesson. Uh, sorry, section. And we have here, now we're going to travel, okay? Okay. Do you, do you like, Ooh. do you like traveling? Yes. Yes? Okay. Yes. Yes, now, I like. Yes, you do, right. So now you're going to tell me what places you have visited, okay? Now, for example, if you have been to Europe, to North America, South America, uh, Africa, okay? Uh, don't, don't go to China. Don't go to China. my parents in, in Los Angeles. Okay, good, okay, good. Okay, don't go to China, okay? You can go anywhere except China in this moment. <laughs> okay. Not a moment. Not in this moment. Okay. So then, uh, please, can you please read this objective here? Okay. Um, in this class, participants will learn new vocabulary related to geography. 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 Like geo, right? Geo? geo. Geography. Okay, geo. Geo, are you there? Geo? Hello. Are you here? No. Ah, he was missing today. Uh, there's a few students today. Yes, I can see that because it's Thursday. Okay, good. So then say, this class participants will learn new vocabulary related to geography, okay? Yeah, uh, let's see. 
Okay, and also we're going to see the biggest and the best. The biggest and the best. The biggest and the best. Okay, good. Welcome to one more section. Listen to the following vocabulary. Repeat it as many times as needed. Are you ready to learn new words? Listen first and then repeat each word. Beach. Desert. Forest. Hill. Island. Lake. Mountain. Ocean. River, valley, volcano, waterfall. Okay. And then repeat each word. Beach, desert, forest, hill. Okay, so here we have the first one is beach, beach, beach. Okay, e, e. beach, beach. Okay, the other one was beach. desert, 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 Sahara desert, Atacama desert, Chile. Uh, the other one is forest, 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 forest. 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 Then we have hill, hill, oh. island. Hill. island. Okay, for example, island. you see here island. that the letter, S, the letter S, the letter S is silent. Okay, say island, no Iceland. Okay, island, 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 island. Uh -huh. island. Island, lake. Then you have lake, lake, lake. lake. Mount, mountain, mountain, so mountain, 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 mountain. Ocean. 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 ocean, ocean, river, 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 river. river. Valley. 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 Volcano. 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 And waterfall. 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 Okay. Island. Lake. Mountain. Ocean, river, valley, volcano, waterfall. Are you ready to learn new words? Listen first and then repeat each word. Beach, desert, forest. Okay. Now, what, what is this? Waterfall. No, this one. At the bottom. This lake. Water. Lake. Okay. Lake. okay, this lake. is the lake. The lake. Okay. The lake. This one? Waterfall. waterfall. Water. This is the waterfall. Okay, the water. waterfall. Okay, El Salto del Angel, right? Yeah. Waterfall. Okay, in here? River. This river. is the river. Uh -huh, this is the river. Okay, the river. This one? This valley. Forest. Oh, no. Forest. I forest. have uh -huh, the trees, the forest. 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 Okay, forest. that's why forest. in English you say the forestation. When you cut the trees, when you cut the trees, the forestation. Okay, so there's the forest. The forest. Forest. The forest In here? Ocean. 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 This one? Volcano. 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 And this one is? Eruption, right? Eruption. 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 This one? 
Mountain. 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 There is another one smaller than mountain. Mountain. That one there is hill. Which one? Hill. 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 Right? hill. hill. And hill. this one is a mountain. 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 See that the volcano, mountain. the volcano has a crater. Okay. Like San Salvador is a volcano, right? Yes. Okay, good. So then this is a mountain and this is a, a hill. Valley. What else? Uh, we have the river, oh, the valley. Valley. All this, right? Like Zapotitan is a valley. Okay. So Urdes here is a valley. Okay, because you have mountains and then you have uh, volcanoes. And then at the bottom, we have- Missing the desert. Uh -huh. And the desert up here. Desert. 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 Uh -huh. Uh -huh. desert. Right? You see the cactus here? Desert. Desert. Uh -huh. This is the desert. Okay. And then we have waterfall, volcano, valley, river. What is this? Uh, ocean. They have the mountain, lake, island, hill, forest, desert, and beach. Okay. Now you know that one. No questions? No question. Okay, very good. Then pra practice with that vocabulary, okay? Okay. Then we have next. Okay, George, your, uh, your turn to read. Okay. Depends if we listen to a conversation about uh, geography. Geography? geography. Comparison with the adjectives will first be introduced. Okay, now we're going to compare. Okay, Com with compare. Uh, you have comparison, comparison. with adjectives. Uh -huh. For example, uh, do you remember the comparisons? Yes, Xiomara? Do you remember comparisons? How? Oh. Como? <laughs> no, no. Okay, not in this moment. Okay, and you, Yesenia, do you remember any form to compare? For example, uh, compare, uh, compare uh, El, Salvador, El Salvador and Guatemala. Ah, um, El Salvador is more small uh, than small. Guatemala. Okay, so then you have El Salvador is a smaller uh, than smaller. smaller. Down Guatemala or the opposite Guatemala is larger than El Salvador, San El Salvador. El Salvador. okay then for example you can say El Salvador is more expensive than Guatemala okay mm -hmm. Guatemala is cheaper than El Salvador yes okay? Good. El Salvador is, is dangerous than more dangerous uh, more dangerous is than Mexico than Mexico. Than Mexico. Uh, I don't know but <laughs> <laughs> I don't think so. <laughs> yes, no, uh, I think that they se van a los penales right now. Ah, it's okay. But it, <laughs> yes, yes. They say El Salvador is more dangerous than Mexico or vice versa. Mexico is more dangerous than El Salvador. Okay, those are comparisons, right? This is to say that one is more or less than another. You can compare people, you can compare food, uh, objects, uh, you can compare anything. Okay? Now. For example, this is which is larger. Okay, which is larger? Hi guys, in the conversation we're about to listen to, the speakers use comparative adjectives. Do you remember how to compare? Stay around for the explanation. It is important to practice and understand the conversation. Listen and practice. Here's a geography quiz in the paper. Oh, I love geography. Ask me the questions. Sure, first question. Which country is larger, China or Canada? I know. 
Canada is larger than China. Okay, next. What's the longest river in the Americas? Hmm, I think it's the Mississippi. Here's a hard one. Which country is more crowded, Monaco or Singapore? I'm not sure. I think Monaco is more crowded. Okay, one more. Which South American capital city is the highest? La Paz, Quito, or Bogota? Oh, that's easy. Bogota is the highest. Hi guys, in the conversation we're about to listen to, the speakers use comparative adjectives. Do you remember how to compare? Stay around for the explanation. It is important to practice and understand the conversation. Listen and practice. Here's a geography quiz in the paper. Oh, I love geography. Ask me the questions. Sure, first question. Which country... Okay. So here you have comparative. Remember that when we are comparing, we compare two. Okay? We compare two. But when we have, for example, more than two, then it's superlative. Okay, here it says, here, here is a geography quiz in the paper. Oh, I love geography. Ask me question. Ask me the question. Sure. First question. Which country is larger, China or Canada? Comparing two. Okay, larger. Then I know Canada is larger than China. Okay, they are comparing Canada and China. Okay, now can you compare other two places? Compare two places. It could be here in El Salvador or it could be uh, two countries. Okay? Maybe two countries. For example, the first one. For uh, example, uh, United States is larger than El Salvador. The United States is larger than El Salvador. Okay? Another comparison? Okay, for example, San Salvador is larger than Sonsonate, maybe. Right? San Miguel, San Miguel is larger than San Salvador. Right? Okay. Uh, uh, for example, uh, Argentina is larger than Bolivia. Metro Centro, Metro Centro, San Salvador. Sorry, Metro Centro, uh -huh. Metro Centro Lourdes is smaller than Metro Centro San Salvador. Exactly, that's correct. Okay, so this is how you can compare, right? For example, uh, well, now that you're talking about uh, malls, let's say, for example, uh, La Gran Villa is smaller than Multiplaza. Mm -hmm. am, I, am I correct? Yes. For me, yes. Yes, right, okay. Then uh, another comparison. Can you use Maria uh, 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 with with person? Uh, okay. Maybe uh, Maria is is taller uh, than than Jose. Than Jose. Okay. Good. It's taller than Jose. Okay. Good. Please, any comparison that you can make people, food, restaurants. Uh, I don't know. Okay, uh, Brazil is more largest than the Salvador. Which one you said before? Brazil. Okay, Brazil is? It's more largest. It's larger, it's larger. larger uh, than El Salvador. Than El Salvador, okay, good. Uh, Marcela? Uh, San Miguel is... Uh, Hotter than San Salvador. Perfect, exactly. Good example. Yes, San Miguel is hotter than uh, San Salvador. Okay, good. Eddie? Uh, Santa Ana is uh, larger than 
Calchuapa City. <laughs> okay, Santa Ana is larger than Calchuapa City. That's correct. Very good. Xiomara. Mm -hmm. One comparison. Mm -hmm. <laughs> the pupusas is more delicious than hamburger. In plural, right? Pupusas are more delicious than hamburgers. Uh, yes. <laughs> okay, good. <laughs> Now, this is for you to remember how to make comparisons, right? And then we're talking about some places. Here we have, I know, look at the, here it says Wendy. I know Canada is larger than China. Okay, this is, I know Canada is larger than China. Uh, okay, next, what's the longest river in the Americas? Now, here's the longest because it's asking for which one or which, ri which river has no comparison? The longest, okay, EST, no hay comparación, okay? It's the longest. Okay, which is the longest, longest. river in America? I think is the Mississippi, okay? Mm -hmm. Which is the, mm -hmm. let's say for example, the, what else, the, the highest, the highest, the highest mountain in the world? The Everest. Everest, Everest. right? Uh -huh. Everest. The highest mountain, no comparison. Okay, you say highest. Good. They say, mm, I think it's the Mississippi. They say, here, here's a hard one. Here's a difficult one. Which country is more crowded? Two countries, Monaco or Singapore? Okay, which, uh-huh. Singapore. Which, Singapore I guess. which city? Okay, I guess. Which city is more crowded? Okay. Is uh, like say that, for example, Usulutan or La Union? Usulutan. Usulutan, right? Oh, yeah. La Union. Okay. I'm not sure. <laughs> okay, say so I'm not sure. I think Monaco is more crowded. Okay. Okay, one more. Which South American capital city is the, high, is the highest? La Paz, Quito, or Bogota? La Paz. Okay, oh, that's easy. Bogota is the highest. Okay, questions about vocabulary? No, no problem with vocabulary? Okay. What is the so, meaning of crowded? Crowded is when there is a lot of people, right? A lot of uh, many mm -hmm. people in, mm -hmm. in one mm -hmm. place. Poblado. Poblado. Yeah, full. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Full of full. people. Full of people. Full of people. Yeah. Crowded. Okay. Now, how many people do we have today? 12 only. But this is with me, I guess. Okay. Okay, we're gonna do some little practice. How many people do we have? We're gonna have five groups. Okay, here we go. Now you're gonna practice the conversation, reading for intonation and pronunciation and try to do it fluently, okay? I will be visiting your groups to help you with yeah. the fluency. Okay, here we go. There you go. <laughs> oh, let me. Why you so happy? Mm -hmm. <laughs> She's so happy. Why, so Why are you so happy? Huh? Why are you so happy? I don't know. Uh, uh, I don't know. I'm happy. You know. Person. You know. 
Why, Marcela? <laughs> I'm a happy person. Yeah, that's cool. That's excellent. Yeah. Oh, great. Practice okay. the conversation. Let me hear you. Okay. 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 I'm I'm Mike. Okay. Okay. Uh, here's a geography quiz in the paper. Oh, I love geography. Ask me ask me the questions. Sure. First question. Which country is larger, China or Canada? I know Canada is larger than China. Okay, next. What's the longest river in the America in the Americas? Hmm, I think it's the Mississippi. Here's a hard one. Which country is more crowded? Monaco or Singapore? Mm, I'm not sure. I think Monaco is more crowded. Okay, one more. Which South American capital city is the highest? La Paz, Quito, or Bogota? Mm, that's easy. Bogota is the highest. Who says highest? Highest. 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 Okay, very good. Me cuesta crow, crow crow, with. Crowded. 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 Crowded, exactly. Crowded. Okay. Crowded. Now, switch. Okay. okay, now change the role. Switch. Okay, okay. And continue, continue practicing. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. Here's a hard one. Which country is more crowded, Monaco or Singapore? I'm not sure. I think Monaco is more crowded. 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 Okay. One mm -hmm. more. Crowded. 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 Mm -hmm. I'm not okay. sure. I think Monaco is more crowded. Okay. One more. Which South America capital city is the highest? La Paz, Quito, or Bogota? Oh, that's easy. Bogota is the highest. It's highest. Highest. That's correct. Yes, Yesenia, that's correct. Okay, say south. South. Vanessa, south. 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 Uh, no, with P. South. South. Uh huh. South. Okay. okay south, south. America. South America. South America. South, south. Africa. South. South. Uh -huh. The T, no. It's a C. C. Uh -huh. South. 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 No T. South. Uh, South. South. Uh -huh. South. 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 Yes? South. Okay. okay. Okay, continue practicing. Very good. Excellent. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. Um, you okay. Sir. O le cambiamos aquí. Ah, ahí está ahí. Hello. Hello, Great. hello. How are you? Okay. Good. Okay, any questions? Mm, no. No. Okay, good. Now, uh, with, can you read one time? Can you please read it? Okay. Okay, go uh, ahead. I am Mike. Okay. Okay. Uh, okay. Here's a geography quiz in the paper. Oh, I love geography. Ask me the questions. Sure. First question. Which country is larger, China or Canada? I know Canada is larger than China. Okay, next. What's the longest river in the Americas? Mm, I think it's the Mississippi. Here's a hard one. Which country is more crowded, Monaco or Singapore? I'm not sure. I think Monaco is more crowded. Okay, one more. Which South American capital city is the highest? La Paz, Quito, or Bogota? Hold on. Hola? Or Bogota? Or Bogota. Hello? Yes. Mm -hmm. Yes. The last one, Laura. Oh, that. 
Oh, that's easy. Bogota is the highest. Okay, excellent. Very good. Okay, thank you very much. Excellent, okay, excellent. Teacher. Okay. Oh. Okay, oh, <laughs> there you are. <laughs> question? <laughs> Oh my Richard, god. I have oh a question. God. I have a question. Ronnie and George together. Oh no. <laughs> <laughs> That's okay. Teacher, yes. I have a question. When you say, for example, was the uh, what kind of uh, car is more fast? It's faster. Or is fastest faster is fast Faster, faster is between between two when you compare two. Yes, but, I, but I, 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 I want to say more fast of all. Okay, then the, which is the fastest car in the world? Uh, fast. Oh, which is fastest. the fastest? Which is the fastest car? Uh, uh, I don't know. Probably Ferrari, maybe or Lamborghini or. <laughs> okay, but I, I say I say Coaster. <laughs> the, 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 one, the 101. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. The, the yeah, that's the fact. Uh -huh. okay, the 101. Yeah. yeah. Okay, that's the and, and, and teacher, do, do you know who is the the best soccer player in the world? Me or you, Ronnie? No, Ronnie. <laughs> that's you, Ronnie. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay. In my house. In your house, yes. In your in your dream. Uh -huh. Yeah, in my dreams. <laughs> with, the, with the FIFA or with the PES? Uh, with the PSP. Ah, uh -huh, yeah. <laughs> with the video, video game. Video game. <laughs> okay, any other question? No okay. problem? Uh, no. No, no problem. Yeah, it's okay. Okay, thank you very much. Okay, just okay. the last one. Hello. Teacher, tenemos yes. preguntas en cuanto al examen. Okay. Nos van a mandar un correo eh, aparte para mm -hmm. el examen o siempre en la plataforma? No, always in the platform. Okay. But you have, okay. usted lo tiene, tiene acceso a la plataforma. ¿Lo tiene? ¿Lo tiene? Yo, yo estoy haciendo los ejercicios. Lo, ¿Pero lo tiene ahí el examen? No, eso el, no, no sé. El que, no iba sé el que les iba mostrando, decía Mr. Lo de llenar las casillas. Ajá, el que les mostré, eso les iba, donde aparecía bottle, jar. El, sí, sí, sí. Ah, ok, that's the one. That's the okay. Ah, ok. okay let's do ¿Y, it. ¿Y cuántas preguntas son? ¿O hay algún tiempo? ¿Tiene no, tiempo para eso? No, it doesn't have time. But ah, okay. I, consider, I consider that 45 minutes, you can do it. Okay. okay it's, I don't think it's complicated. It's not very difficult. Okay, in 40, okay. 45 minutes, you can do it. Okay? Okay. No more questions? No. no. Okay, very good. Now let's go back to the classroom. All right. Okay, some people left already. Okay, it's ten o'clock, ten or two. Okay, then uh, that's it. Uh, so I will see you on Monday. Okay, if you have any other question, you can ask me through the chat uh, this weekend. Okay, but I think the the exam is going to is easy, right? So you can do it. You are prepared for it. Okay. Then I'll see you on Monday. Have a very nice weekend. Okay, and relax. Uh, okay. Today, tomorrow, I mean, you can do it when you have time. Okay. Try, okay, try, to, try, to, okay, try to do it before Monday, right? Try to do it before Monday so okay. that that we can review uh, some topics if you need, right? Okay. 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 okay everybody. Thank. Bye, bye. Nice weekend. Bye bye. 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 Nice weekend. Bye bye. Bye.